And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Fizz. It's going to be our next deck today. We're going to be playing a deck built around Fizz and getting a very large Fizz or just large elusives in general and racing the opponent. So in order to grow things, we're going to have Omen Hawk and then of course Starlet Seer. So we're playing it with um, a bunch of spells, Starlet Seer, growing the top ally in our deck. Hopefully sometimes that's Fizz. Um, but then our other elusives, we also have Zap Sprayfin, which also replaced itself with a spell. Slippery Wave Rider, that can do a lot of damage real fast. And then even just a couple of Golden Narwhals. Um, so besides that, we got lots of lots of spells in here, because of course with Fizz, you're going to want your spells, and same with Starlet Seer and everything like that. So lots of um, either protection or um, buff or even just some... Uh, interaction slowing the opponent down with some frostbite and then also just twisted fate because um, twisted fate is just so powerful and we got a, a decent amount of card draw in here you know salvage zaps brave and shared spoils so you know we can maybe level up twisted fate as well which is a really good defensive card um, very versatile um, in here and then we got a battle fury up at the top end so yeah, so there we go. So nothing too new with this deck. You've probably seen this one around. We haven't played it in a while though, and so we're gonna be trying it out today. Got two Twisted Fate decks on the docket. We got this one, then we also have Twisted Callista. They're pretty different. The Twisted Callista is very Shadow Isles uh, based, and it and it uh, has Bilgewater mostly for um, oh the the seven five sea monster that makes treasures ship recorder. Ship Recorder. So, like, it's, it's going to be like a Callista Ship Recorder combo deck. All right, anyway, we're playing against Trundle, Aurelian Soul, Trindamir. Okay, okay. We're going to keep all of these. Um, I like having the Fizz right away and, like, the Warning Shot to protect Fizz. Shared Spoils for whenever Fizz hits them. Because, yeah, I was, was not expecting them to do anything on turn one. So we do this. Now we go Shared Spoils. So that's a good start. Still keeping the warning shot to protect Fizz from Vi- Oh wait, they're going Targon, so no Vile Feast, so more Avalanche. All right, didn't draw a three mana unit. Hey, Zach. A hand? Can't say no to Fizz. This is really scary. Turn three ramp, turn four ramp. It's very scary. It's even scarier now. Yep, and they do have the eight mana card. What am I supposed to do about that? <laughs> that doesn't seem very fair. Never lost a fair game or played one. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're not playing a fair game either this time, Twisted Fate. Just for the other, for the other reason. Their hand looked incredible. Alright, so we'll play Harsh Winds this turn. Harsh Winds, of course, is 6 mana. So we'll still have Harsh Winds available if I play Sprayfin. I think I want to do that post-combat, though, so that I get to a tune and get the 1 mana from a tuning. One smack will do.
So I can keep one thing alive with my Elixir of Iron. I can either keep Twisted Fate or the 3-3 Spray Fin alive. And I guess it's the 3-3 Spray Fin. We're not that far away from leveling up Twisted Fate, but we'd have to draw kind of well. Yeah, their hand was nice. Yeah, that, that would have helped do it to level up Twisted Fate. Alright, so we got 10 damage in. Down to eight. Never mind. All right, down to ten. atrocity. We don't have to worry about that. You can't do this. Why are you here? Um Our fizz is leveled up. All right, save all these. I think we're going to get this. We'll have to see, of course, but I feel pretty good about getting this. I don't really want to tap under a troll chant. As far as that is concerned. We see through all. I'm planning on playing the other Fizz. Mm. Okay, just two life. I think we got this. Good that wasn't, you know, like an, an Aurelian soul. Alright, GG's. 1 0. The Ocean wins again. The Ocean wins again. Leona Lucian. I don't think I've played against a Leona Lucian deck before. I like the alliteration, though, with. Leona Lucian. These are all good cards. So I'm going to keep them. The Golden Narwhal is my worst card, but just curve consideration wise, it works out well. Alright, good Omen Hawk. Figured that, you know, we don't have spells in hand, but the Spray Fin would be drawing a spell. The Twisted Fate acts as a spell. Raise your weapon, Sunwood! Push back the darkness. All right, Golden Narwhal not looking so good against Lucian, the quick attack, and everything. Um, maybe I just pass and don't play it. I feel like I'm gonna just play Golden Narwhal in the late game. Okay. Brutal Steel makes that look better. Bask in her radiant 
blessing. Never lost a fair game. Never played one. All right, their Lucian stays alive. And the unfortunate thing, of course, is the Lucian does have, like, it's stunned, which actually I kind of don't want it to be stunned. Devotion to battle. I guess want to kill more things for the Lucian. Helping them get to leveled up Lucian. That's fine, I suppose. Clad in shining sunlight. Let's go, elusives. Don't have hush. Single combat. All right, not hush. Which effectively they do the same thing, but this, you know, they take another five damage. Right, like hush, they would have blocked. Ooh, I like that starlet's here. I want to just play starlet's here. And get this pump going. Scorching light. Purity and peace. So that's two of their things dying. Lucian turning into that 4-2. I can play both Fury. Like, basically, like, I kind of have to play both Fury of the North and Brittle Steel. If I brittle, because basically, if I brittle steal Lucian, when Lucian levels up, we'll go to one attack. Do I just want to take this other three? Maybe I just do that, and then I don't use Fury of the North. This would be a good winter. Because it's still gonna have one attack, double, you know, one double attack. So I guess I'm just gonna take this seven. That lets me save Fury of the North. Go with the flow. All right, Twisted Fates at four. Hamster Bomb with the donation deck. My take on making the most viable Poro deck possible. Awesome. Who does not know the name Laurent? What once was two now is one. Yuck. Cool. Taking eight. I guess I can't take eight. Best not ruffle our feathers. Because to save T Twisted Fate, I have to cast Fury of the North, which means I have that plus Brittle Steel. Okay, so we're going to Fury of the North here. This will be a good and then we're going to Brittle Steel here. Oh, and and we'll Elixir of Iron here. 
Hill cast K doesn't kill me still. I the reason why I don't want to go elixir on Twisted Fate because of Pale Cascade. I don't want them to to Pale Cascade and still kill Twisted Fate through elixir. If they Pale Cascade and kill my Slippery Wave Rider, oh well. Huh. Alright, well I guess that's a way for them to kill Twisted Fate. But I don't think that worked out too bad for me. I'd like another Salvage. Or another 7-7 seven, seven Twisted Fate. It's not bad either. Warriors of the Raharat, our time is now! We'll follow you to the edge of Daybreak! I wonder if blue card's better than red card. No, probably not. Deal me in. Something for all of you. I guess I could have done. I, I guess I should have done that first and attacked with a quick attack. I guess you're probably right. Basically, I was thinking the reason why I waited on Twisted Fate is because I was thinking that maybe they play more things that are, you know, red card gets more value. But I guess I should just be attacking with that Twisted Fate. Um, Obviously, this is a pretty big problem. We're, we have the Harsh Winds, though, to protect us. We know they have another Daybreak card in hand. So, yeah, they're going for, like, stun all of our stuff and attack and kill me. But we have the Harsh Winds to protect us. Oh, dang, that, that kills us, though. Well, no, 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 because, yeah, Troll Chant. Everyone's, all right, so we're still barely alive. No, nope. now we're exactly dead. <sighs> exact lethal. So should have played Twist of Fate last turn and attacked. So then they would have had to block with Solari Priestess. So then that one damage wouldn't have killed me. Blessed by snow and stars. Alright, need need to attack with Twist of Fate. Could have saved one life, and that probably would have been the difference in this game. Probably would have been able to kill them. Huh. Didn't see that coming. Yeah. So I think that we would win that game most every time, but didn't win at that time. Alright, let's see. This is going to be a little bit tougher. They'll, we're going to have to race them. Um, I want Wave Rider, and like honestly, Sprayfin's good too. We need to be faster. All right, this is what we got. Cool. We'll take Omen Hawk. Wow, no one drop or two drop. Keep up, keep up. Don't get the attuned value this turn, unfortunately. Tossing the Atrocity and the Jettison. But, I like tossing those, but I don't like actually seeing these cards. No. Yeah, they're going deep super fast. A Riptide, a Miscall. They're almost deep already. These Isles will be cleansed. Not getting any attune value. I'll play salvage first to get some attune value with the spray fin. Dang. What a hand. Turn five deep. 
effectively. That's a lot of toss. They only gain one Nexus life. Our right, Malkai's at 16. Down to six. I cannot cast... I don't have the mana for Sprayfin plus Fury to put him down to one. Um, just kind of doing this before they play either the five or six mana sea monsters. All right, so that's just done an enemy. So that's not playing a five or six mana sea monster, so that's good. I don't think that they're gonna like I don't know if that was like a precursor to the ruination. I don't think so, but that could be bad. Or I could have gone salvage to help protect against that a little bit better. But yeah, we got some attune value finally. See how handsome I do? Yeah, not ruination. Like that's ever stopped me. Hold it, partner. I'm gonna go gold because I don't want to block this abyssal eye. Where the two one challenger I have brittle steel to protect against that pretty effectively. So is it worth playing Golden Narwhal and Fizz before attacking? I'm gonna guess so, because this isn't lethal. Hey, what's up, Enrios? Yeah, we don't have lethal, because they they just block my 4-4 four -four with their 6-4. I can replace Twisted Fate and Omen Hawk and have six elusives. We have mana for everything in our hand, so we're good. One blocker, and there we go. A board of elusives. Gets it done, two and one. There he is. Trundlemere. 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 All right, we'll have our one drop, two drop. Salvage is probably going to be pretty good. Yeah. It can be useful for racing later on. Whenever they're attacking with Trundle and Trindamir and stuff. We have cards that are good, useful later on. And we have a one drop, two drop. Turn three is going to be their turn. 
We had good turn one, turn two. They're gonna have good turn three. Oh, wow. No turn three. Wow. No turn three. I'm always up for a round or two. All right, well, let's get a blue card. No attune value. Eyes open. So Avalanche kills the 1-1. One, one. I'm not going to use protection spells on the 1-1. One, one. Just being a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, it's been a long time since we tried a Legion Marauder copy deck. It's like one of the, I would guess like probably two months. Maybe that'd just be a guess. I guess we're never gonna get a tune value, are we? I could proactively troll chant right now first and then cast Wave Rider and get a tune value. Yeah, probably. Because with the Golden Narwhal having the vulnerable, assuming they were gonna challenge the Golden Narwhal, that keeps it alive. And we get the one extra. So we basically had one mana troll chant that we used before attacking. Huh. I'll take the two damage. I don't know. Why would you not challenge? Like, two damage on me doesn't seem to matter much of anything. Twist of Fate level up next turn if we go pick a card at Salvage. Surprise them. But then that would, that would price me into playing all the. Like, we definitely have to play the cards that we. Uh, you know, our fleeting cards that we get there, and we don't get any other choice of anything else. I think I would rather just play Starlet Seer and Salvage. I'm just gonna... I don't really want to play this Pick a Card. Well, maybe I, maybe I do play Pick a Card. Yeah, maybe I do. Blessed by snow and stars! Hesitations at tell. And so I'm planning on just casting Brutal like I don't think Brutal Steel is good in this matchup. This game's heating up. So I'm plasting uh, planning on casting. There we go. Planning on casting a brittle steel. Why not? What? Oh, frostbite an enemy with three or less health. I can't frostbite my own twisted fate. I see. Well, you got me there. So I don't even get blue card. I could, I could cast elixir of iron for blue card, but that's not even worth it. Well, that's too bad. Right back. So I don't get the extra. Yeah, this is worth it. I don't get the extra Starlet Seer buff by playing the Sprayfin first. Ideally, we would have played, you know, Starlet Seer first, but we needed that one mana from the Attune with Sprayfin. So we had to play Sprayfin first. Hmm. All right, so trade Elixir of Iron for Vile Feast. Puts them down to three. I obviously have some things that I could do to try to kill them this turn. Don't think we're in that much of a hurry, though, and, and we've already seen them play one Frostbite card. Kind of... Ex would expect more frostbite vengeance, that kind of stuff, if I just go for a win. Right. 
I think it's just too risky to go for it. We'll we'll just take this. I like them being at three. By snow and that is good. We see through all. Triple Starlet's here. Yes, please. We'll be doing salvage. Alright, that's unfortunate. That's not even Trundle's Ice Quake, that's just normal Ice Quake. So I guess I shouldn't have used the Elixir of Iron at the previous turn. Could have saved another Starless here. So Frostbite still stops Fizz. I can't stop Frostbite. Ruination everything. I don't want to just play Fizz here because it's my last threat. I don't have like a salvage to draw more cards or anything like that. My blade grows restless. Nice! All right, so definitely hoping no harsh winds. Twins. Yeah. This Means I don't have Battle Fury. Maybe I should just be casting Battle Fury here, but Battle Fury means I don't get to play Twisted Fate. All right, GG's. Yay, we did it! Three and one, super close to a 4-0. Hey, Keeve. Hello, hello. All right, more Trundle Trendemir. Yesterday we played against a ton of discard burn. Today, Trundle Trendemir. This is difficult. Keep it all and go for Twisted Fate level up? Huh. Yeah, regions are kind of like colors of magic, yeah. Um, you can play maximum of two regions in any deck. Um, because there's not, like, different, um, you know, different mana for the regions. Everything just has generic mana. So you can't just uh, play all the regions. Alright, so unfortunately... This isn't the best turn. Could cast Salvage. But... Many tribes under one banner. I'm always up for a round or two. Alright, can you get Twisted Fate in play first? Blue card, looking for protection, looking for Elixir of Iron, Troll Chance, that kind of stuff. Things to help protect Twisted Fate. Stand together. Not getting any attune value. We're at one. Go with the flow. There's a Troll Chant. That's three. That thing's big. I guess I save a mana by doing this right now. But it does let them know, hey, you need to kill my Twisted Fate. So there is that. So now it's at six. Today we fight as one. Salvage will make it eight. Ha <laughs> ha 
<clears throat> but um, three, six, eight. Okay, I do have eight cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, yeah, so I can draw two. I kind of want to protect the Omen Hawk, honestly, because I want the Omen Hawk to be a blocker. Soak it in. I wanted to block the Avros and Hearthguard. If I pass, they can pass. And I have 10 cards in hand. But then again, me passing really isn't that bad for me either. Like them them passing. I think I think I'll just take that if they want. Okay, they don't want. I didn't think so. Alright, so that'll red card. This will gold card. And then this will block. Dead in their tracks. The card, <laughs> the card rush. I really like the card rush with the scout challengers, Genevieve Elmhart, and <clears throat> um, uh, Valor. Rush is amazing with those two cards. Oh, the new card, Feel the Rush. Oh, that one. Um, I don't know. I've read all those cards, but I couldn't tell you exactly what that card does. I don't know. I don't know exactly what that card does. I've, I've read them all, but I, I haven't really thought about them too hard. I would be... How do we want to do this? I don't think I pass. I guess I'm going Starlet Seer, Slippery Wave Rider. No, let's go spray thin Starlet Seer so I can have Troll Chant. Okay, or Shared Spoils. I was worried about playing Twisted Fate and then they Vengeance Twisted Fate, and I just don't really get good value out of the out of the Twisted Fate. <clears throat> That's what I was worried about right there. Summons two random champions from your deck and makes them 10-10s. Ten oh right, that card. So is that better than War Mothers of a thing every get something every single turn? I don't know. At times it will be. It won't be as good, obviously, over over a long game. So I think it kind of depends on the matchup, like whenever you need two things immediately. Only fools play the hand they're dealt. We see through all. Eyes open. This will be a good winter. <clears throat> so I am planning on playing another either Brittle Steel or Troll Chant. Um to get the gold card to kill this thing. Which I guess I should have just done immediately because they could play some other unit that's that's larger. Um, the troll chant's a little safer. Where the troll chant, like I would, I would give the twisted fate plus three or plus two, so grasp the undying wouldn't kill twisted fate. But brittle steel isn't going to see much use otherwise. So there we go. That works out. No reason to play into ruination and cast something else. Vengeance. Alright, so we're just gonna let that happen. Don't need gold card. 
I'll put him down to one. Name a matchup where War Mothers is better than Field of Rush. I don't know, mirror matches? Any deck with Ruination. That you play Field of Rush, they play Ruination, and now you just traded. Where War Mothers, like basically against any any kind of Shadow Isles deck like that. War Mothers just continues to get cards after cards. Um, so yeah, basically against any kind of control matchup where it's going to be a grind fest. You'd much rather have War Mothers call. Alright, so there we go. So that's four and one. Alright, so there we go. Twisted Fizz 4 and 1 and very, very close to a 5-0 there. Our deck felt really good. I think a lot of things had to go wrong for us in that loss that we had um, against the, that Solari deck. Um, yeah, there, that was one that until we were taking lethal, I didn't think that we were losing until, you know, like they had like the, their last, they played their very last card. Um, so yeah, we're super close to being 5-0. Our deck felt awesome. The Golden Narwhal impressed. With it being the two mana, um, you know, it came in at, at different times and really impressed. Um, you know, everything kind of worked out well. Like the Harsh Winds was clutch against Trundle and Trindamir. Um, we didn't play against any Discard Burn. I think that would be a matchup that could be tough of like how fast they, like they're just so fast, so wide. That can be a really tough matchup. But you, ha you still have good stuff in that matchup, like being able to have Brittle Steel and block like Draven and Jinx is uh really clutch and then of course you know you have like your one mana elixir of irons and two mana troll chance like you have some good um quick protection spells and like twisted fate red card awesome so it's not like it's that's a you know an unwinnable matchup but i think that that could be a little bit tougher for us if we saw like those slower decks um we are able to just use good card advantage and good elusive threats and finish out the games so there we go. That's Twisted Fizz. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.